Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, thank you guys for, for joining us for this next presentation, How to Get Data, Keep Control, and Lead Your Projects uh, by Frederico. Uh, over to you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Federico Aronti, and I'm Deiser's project uh, partner manager, and, and we're here to present Project Track. I don't know if you know, but we're based in Spain, in Madrid, and we're here uh, in order to let you how to get data and lead your projects. So uh, if you search our name, Atlassian Marketplace, you will see two main apps, Exporter and Project Track. Today, we're going to talk about Project Track, okay? So, what's the first thing that you see when you enter Jira? You know that Jira is based on uh, projects and issues, okay? Uh, you'll get a list of issues, you'll get everything, all the information that you need know about your issues in the issue list, you know? But uh, what about your project? You don't have all that information, all the information that you might need in your projects. And that's when Project Track comes in. So this is a little bit of what you uh, should be seeing when you install a uh, project track. So uh, you'll get more information. You'll, you'll be able to add the status to your projects, the priority to your projects, and that will allow you to lead and to manage your projects and take control of your projects even better. So uh, project track, it's uh, available for cloud and data center. But today, we're going to be focusing on the cloud installation, OK? Uh, as I said before, the first thing that you, that you see when you start Project Track uh, is the Project Track icon here in the apps, apps section uh, above in the, in the Jira menu. And by clicking on the Project Track and the Project Nav Navigator, you will be taken to the uh, Project Navigator and the Project Lists. Okay? Uh, you will see all your projects and all the information in your projects, uh, and you will be able to edit that information with uh, ease. You know, that information, it's what you have decided that you want to know about your projects, OK? Uh, for example, here you can see that it really is to edit your status, edit the stakeholders you know, in the projects, and you'll be able to, and to have a really good uh, how you say, overview of the projects. OK, moving on, you will, we will go to the board view. The board view, it's another view that is really, really good and it's really applicable to uh, maybe meetings in order for all the team to have the whole view of what the, your project portfolio is uh, uh, how you say, it's going on. So um, here in the, in the board, you'll be able to, to see the status. You'll be able to group by status, to group by different kinds of fields. Uh, that will let you know how your projects are going. It's really easy to, uh, to how you say, to change the, the status of your projects. If you, if you can see here, these are the projects that are on different kinds of statu status. And you're going to be able to move them around you know, as you need. Uh, as I said before, it's really nice and it's really, how you say, applicable to uh, for meetings. You know, in order to to for everyone to be up to date on how the projects are doing. The next view that we would like to show you is the timeline. It's really important to know when your projects when your projects end. So that's why we included the timeline in Project Track. Okay, this is an overview of when your projects start and when your projects end. We also added the status in the timeline. So it's really useful also for presentations, for, uh, teams, uh, for teams meetings, you know, and to have an overview of how your projects are going. It's also really easy to edit those dates. It's really easy to move the dates around, you know, and change the status on the, on the, on the overview. So on the timeline view, I'm sorry. So uh, this is this is really really nice. It's, it's kind of new and and we like it a lot. And our clients say that it's really useful in order to keep track of your projects. And as I said before, you know, in order to lead your projects and and so on. So uh, this is the timeline. So moving on, we also have three different gadgets that you can add to your. Uh, Jira dashboard. We have the project track two-dimensional 
project statistics in which you can you can add two fields, uh, one to the x uh, axis and one to the a axis, and you have all the information that you need e, uh, from your projects right there in the in the gadget. Then you have the pie chart, you know, with uh, percentage representations, you know, in a pie, and then you have the project uh, the project list which resembles a little bit the project list that we've seen before from the project navigator uh, and it's pretty pretty useful there it's pretty easy to set up and uh, and you you'll have all the information that you need this is this is really good in order for reporting another part of leading your projects and tracking your projects is the ability to report and this is a really good it's a report and it's really easy to set up these gadgets in your Jira dashboard. So moving on, uh, we wanted to show you that you can also edit the values of your fields right inside your projects. Uh, we created uh, the project layouts in which you will be able to set up all your fields and all the information that you need as you please and you will, you will be able to edit all those uh, values right here in the same project, okay? Remember that, that we could edit the inline, uh, in the Project Navigator, you could edit the projects with the inline edit. Well, this is the same, but inside the project. So all the information is right there in your layout, okay? And, and you can see all that information. This, this is also really useful and, and uh, it will allow you and it will help you to keep track of everything that there is to know about your projects. So right now in this video loop, you're gonna be able to see how easy it is, you know, because remember, a project track will provide different kinds of fields that will uh, give you more information about your projects, like the status, like the priority stakeholders. We also have uh, formula fields that the formula fields will allow you to do uh, different types of calculations that will allow you to have information within the Jira issues or within other projects. So it's, it's really useful and it's uh, really easy to set up. And as you can see, there's different kinds, there's different types of fields uh, that are really easy to edit and to save. So uh, moving on, well, this is the, this is a, uh, we're showing here the, the text field, which is really, how you say, customizable, and the information is, uh, will, be, will be there, will, will be saved there, you know, and you'll be able to, to follow up on any kind of, uh, of change later on on the, on the project. So moving on. Uh, we have different other features for a uh, project track. Uh, uh, there's a little difference between project track cloud and project track data center, but uh, the most important ones will be the public API in which you're, you're gonna be able to use it in order to fetch information from project track. Maybe if you have a custom app, you know, with the, with the public API, it's gonna be really easy to fetch that information, you know, and to use it. Then we notifications, uh, the DY, uh, DYI, you know, the do-it-yourself, uh, we, we, we like to call it like that because you're gonna be able to set up your layout as you please and all the information that you need. So it's really, it's really nice and all the information will be there as maybe as, as you need it, you know? Uh, maybe you need a, some group of uh, users that need the information laid out uh, as something, you know, you're gonna be able to, to, to set it up. Then you have all the, his, the history of the changes that you made in Project Track, uh, so you can see what has been going on in your project. Then we have different integrations, you know, with Automation for Jira, with Script Runner, and other uh, reporting tools like ECBI, like Dashboard Hub, and the Power BI connectors, okay? Uh, with Power BI is really, is a really, uh, it's a really big uh, app, and we have, the integration with those connectors so you can fetch information from project that can show it in that BI, BI app. Then you have different other 
features like safe views, you know, you can export to Excel and CSV. Uh, and then in data center, one of our main features are the ability to map those fields that you created into Jira custom fields. So you can use them in your uh, Jira fields and then the bulk operations, which will save you a lot of time in data center, okay? Uh, then we have different different other features like project properties, a new uh, and coming feature which is outgoing webhooks, which will be really really uh, useful. Thank you very much. And and then, well, last but not least, we have different use cases because we know that uh, Jira projects can represent different things when working in a company. That's why we have different use cases like the ITSM uh, use case, which uh, we like to say that every project represents a service. So you can uh, create your own fields in order to represent those needs inside of those services. Then we have the PMO use case, we have the Agile use case, we have the Teams use case, and the DevOps use case, which again, uh, you can, if you need more information about it, you, you can come to our booth and we'll give you more information about how to set it up because it's really easy and just by creating different fields, it's gonna be really easy for you to, to manage those projects. So thank you very much for your time. That's pretty much it. And remember, we're gonna be at booth 75 in the expo hall uh, when the uh, Atlassian team starts. Everybody give it up for Federico. Thank you very much. Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, nice to see. Thank uh, you. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, I have one over here. It's always good when people give questions. Um, I saw the um, status, project status on risk and uh, pending and stuff like that. Is yes. That, do you allow to transition that based on other project metadata like time and status or when you like see when when a project goes to risk yeah how can it be detected automatically and change the status well detected by itself uh, it's it's i i don't know if that's the use case but there's different uh automations with Jira automation that you can set up mm -hmm. uh, depending on different triggers as I mentioned, we have the ongoing web hoops, uh, web hoops right now that will allow you to, to do uh, other, other actions and other triggers right now with Jira Automation. But right now, uh, you can set anything up with Jira Automation and Project Track will allow you with the help of the, our API, okay? It's nice, that, that's a really good use case too. Another Easy. question, there you go. Hi. How do you show the dependencies between projects? The dependencies between different projects, you can set up a, a, a field that uh, you can, a field that is about, uh, we, we call it the project field, other projects, you know, and you can name it, you can define it as you please, and then in the, in the layout, you can set that field there, and if there's dependencies, you can, you can set up, you know, if this project is related to another project, you, you can just select those projects. It's really easy. It's just by creating a field, you know, setting that up in the layout, and then in the project navigator list view, because it's really easy, yeah, you know, and that's, that's it. And that's pretty much it. Then actions, there's no actions between those dependencies, but you can show that information. If, the, if this project depends on the other project, you can set that up really easily. Thanks. Don't worry. Uh, it seems like uh, potentially instances that have been around for a while may have to change how they think about creating a project and how projects are defined in order to utilize this tool well. Mm -hmm. How do you guys assist with that change management process as a company and, and helping that mindset change of saying, hey, our projects are no longer necessarily, this is your team and you use epics, right? Or if you're using advanced roadmaps, you use the level above an epic to manage your projects. It's now much more a project 
per project. Yeah. Do you, how do you how do you manage that, and, and do you guys support some of that change management for companies? Well, we have. Uh, I I belong to the the product team. You know that that we develop these apps, but uh, our service team. You know and and the other part of the company will will definitely help you with that if there's a need to if you ask us uh, to help you with that kind of change we will support you for sure with that you know we'll we also uh, our support team you know is really dedicated and if you have any questions about how to approach any kind of change we also we will we will we will help you and we will provide that information for you. So if you have any more questions about that, that's really interesting because uh, because we're we would like to let you know that that we're here for you if you have any kind of change like that. So pass by our booth and we'll let you know, okay? Because we have representatives that would like to know more about how uh, what uh, changes uh, can companies face, you know, into changing the the project. Uh, how do you say the the project structure you know and and how how do you you create a project so this is this is really good thank you very much thank you yeah. all righty well thank you very much Rico. thank you uh, mm. we definitely appreciate you guys